Hello there, barbecue fans. This is Randy Todd coming from Cookville, Tennessee, coming to you from Lakeland, Florida. This is the Lakeland Pig Fest down here. If you've never been down here, I strongly encourage you to come down here. This is one of the greatest contests in the whole year. So come on down to Lakeland, Florida in January and get your barbecue season started out right. We've just been judging uh, sauce, and it was most delicious, quite a variety. So thank you and come on down. Hi, I'm Joe Berkner. I'm from Lakeland, Florida, believe it or not. I'm a local guy. Um, this is, I've judged every one of the Pig Fest e events and all 22 years, all 22 years and it's been a, a blessing. Um, the sauces were quite varied. Um, some of them were pretty good and some of them could stand a little work. <laughs> Mike Morris from Lewis, Delaware. We came all the way down just for this. Uh, the sauces were uh, pretty good. I enjoyed them. Annie McCready from Pennsylvania and um, loved the event. It's always a good event and the sauces, well, some were good and some maybe need a little help. <laughs> Jim Borwitz from Colorado. Uh, first time event, uh, first time judge. I uh, really enjoyed the sauce so far. Um, like she said, some were good, some were okay. David Smith, all the way from Lakeland, Florida. Um, had uh, eight entries on sauce. They were all good. Some were just a little better than the others. Hi, I'm Karen. I'm from Melbourne, Florida. Enjoying my beautiful evening here in Lakeland, Florida. Hi, I'm Andrew. I'm from Winter Garden. And what you eat? And we had anything but, so jalapeno poppers, some venison sausage, uh, some soda bruschetta, lamb chop, and a lobster bisque. Which one you like? Jalapeno popper. Bill out of Short Pump, Virginia. Um, had some great entries on the anything but. Um, didn't really have a favorite. I had three great ones, I thought, and uh, two that were very close. Hello, I'm Tim Holloman here from Lakeland, Florida. And we're uh, with the anything but, and uh, something just lit me up. So I'm, I'm kind of enjoying that. Thank you. Hi, I'm Tim Wilk from Melbourne. <clears throat> uh, with anything but, and uh, yeah, the uh, jalapeno poppers were top notch. I'm Terry McCready. I'm from Strasburg, Pennsylvania. And uh, category anything but. I agree with Tim. The uh, the popper was pretty good. Other than that, we had pretty much of a, of a variety here. John, I'm from Akron, Ohio. We're at uh, uh, Lakeland uh, Pick Fest. Dessert is our category. Uh, two of them to me were just a little too sweet, number three and number five, but the other three were excellent. What do you want? Who you are, where you're from, where we are, and what you eat. I'm from, uh, Brian Godsey from Capshaw, Alabama. Um, excited to be here in Lakeland. Uh, we had anything but uh, dessert and sauce. Uh, we got some carrot cake, some tiramisu, and red velvet, among others. Very good. I'm Carl Parrish from Huntsville, Alabama, here in Lakeland, Florida for the Lakeland Pig Fest. Uh, doing ancillaries tonight, sauces, uh, anything but, and desserts, which were all fabulous. Hi, I'm Don Edwards from Crossville, Tennessee. Judging in the ancillary contest at Pig Fest on Friday night. Some fabulous anything but entries and great desserts. Hi, I'm Mary Ellen Morris from Lewis, Delaware, first town in the first state, and um, I tried some very good desserts. It was tiramisu here, carrot cake, chocolate with pudding, and a cheesecake, and it was all excellent. Very good. I will definitely come back next year. <laughs> <laughs> she just named off what they were. I thought the carrot cake was pretty good. Okay, Mike Garrison, Port St. Lucie, Florida. 
and uh, I thought both of the cupcakes, we had two different types, and they were both very good. Caramacy was good and the carrot cake. Didn't care for the chocolate. It just, I don't know, just something wrong with it. And I hadn't quite figured out what that one was. <laughs> I won't say it was bad, but it wasn't good either. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. Violet and um, Pig Fest, and we're cooking chicken and steak. Which one's going in first? Steak. Is your steak ready? It is. It's actually in a pan right here. So, it's actually right at here, and I actually have to cut it up in a second and put it in my box and turn it in. Okay. It, Goes right through. This is the kids' queue steak entries. Uh, overall, the steaks were really cooked well. Most of them were medium rare. Um, some uh, a little more tender than the others, but just overall great taste with great seasoning. Yeah, the uh, samples provided were good. Uh, most of them were tender, depending on the cut you got. The uh, cooked medium to medium uh, rare. And uh, the spices were good today. What am I doing? Talking about what you ate. Oh, I ate some awesome steak. It was very good. They did a great job. Capshaw, Alabama, and uh, I love the chicken. Um, even the spicy stuff, I really enjoyed that. So uh, looking forward to the next batch. Hi, I'm Vern Brand from Oviedo, Florida. I enjoyed every piece of chicken that I had. They look good, they taste good, and they were nice and tender. This is some of the best chicken I've had, whether it's children that cooked it or adults, because they did a very, very good job. Moist, tender, and very flavorful. Very, very impressed. And I'm from Florida, too. Good job, y'all. to do my very first competition here in Lakeland, Florida six years ago. So it's good that I can do my hundredth also here. And that's thanks to Operation Barbecue Relief because I was deployed for almost a month in Tallahassee and Wilmington and I missed four competitions so it all worked out great. Okay, raise your hand. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. To objectively and subjectively, to objectively and subjectively evaluate each barbecue meat, evaluate each barbecue meat that is presented to my eyes, that is presented to my eyes, my nose, my nose, my hands, my hands, and my palate. And my palate. I accept my duty to be a I accept my duty to be a pig fast barbecue judge. So that truth, so that truth justice, justice, excellence in barbecue, excellence in barbecue and, the American way of life and the American way of life may be strengthened, may and, preserved be strengthened and preserved forever. May be strengthened and preserved forever. All right, let's eat some barbecue. It was kind of dry. Okay, I liked uh, number five the best. It was one of the most succulent, juicy pieces of meat I have tasted in a long time. And the one I didn't like the most was the number four item because it was burnt, dry, overcooked, and uh, a little bit tasteless. Number one had a little bit of a tang of a cinnamon, which I'm not really fond of when it comes to chicken. I liked number one and five the best. I they both were very moist plenty of flavor, easy to eat. I was not a fan of number four. I thought it was overcooked, dry, and didn't have much flavor. Uh, I was a fan of one and five. They were both very tender and tasty. Uh, number four was uh, very dry, uh, a little crunchy, um, very overcooked. Out of the five entries, I also liked one and five. Uh, number four, I evidently got away from them. It's a uh, Slightly overcooked. 
My best was number five. It just was very juicy, well cooked, good sauce on it. The worst, number three and four, both had a very high smoke flavor to them and were dry on the inside. Okay. Uh, backyard. Backyard. Uh, number one was uh, my favorite. Uh, it was very well balanced. Uh, it was moist and tender. And uh, I thought the uh, number four entry was uh, over smoked and uh, cooked a little bit long, turned into uh, uh, a dry entry. Okay. Next. Two, three, four, five. Which was your favorite and why? Which was your least favorite? One was my favorite, and number three was my second favorite, but they all were good. Okay. Uh, they were all good to me in their, you know, in their original presentation. Uh, taste, for whatever reasons, for me, went to number two and number five. All, all five category, uh, entries were great in appearance. Uh, number one was the best flavor, best taste. Uh, number four was probably the worst taste. Um, all of them were fairly great in appearance. Um, to me, number one was probably the best, and uh, number five was the tenderest. My favorite was number one, and my least favorite was number four. Thank you. Um, number two was my most favorite. Um, I enjoyed the color the best on the appearance side. The texture felt very good in my mouth, had a taste that I wanted to continue to eat. Um, but then number five was a pork category, but somehow it tasted like beef. I didn't want to continue to eat that. Um, it was There were only two that had actual pulled pork in them. I thought that was a little bit surprising, but the pulled pork was a little mushy. It just didn't feel good in my mouth. Okay, number five was the best one, um, had the most flavor and tenderness. The least one was the one next to it, number four, tasted like it was from the grocery store. For me, I agree, number five was uh, the best one on the plate. The tenderness was awesome. The flavor, I really liked the pork flavor with it. Uh, for me, the least favorite, my least favorite was number two. Uh, I thought the uh, the pork just okay. flat out needed more flavor, and it was hard to tell the uh, tenderness of it because it was so shredded. I thought number three was my favorite. It was tender, had flavor. I thought it was done well. Number one was my least favorite. I didn't like the way they cut it. It was hard to hard to do our pull test and the different tests we do on them. So that was my least favorite. Uh, number three was my favorite as well. It was very tender and the flavor was really good. Uh, number two was my least favorite. There was not a lot of flavor uh, in the mouth feel. Chewing it, it kind of got dry on me near the end. Okay, uh, the, f the first one was very good. It was nice and tender, had great taste. Uh, the second, third, and fifth were over dried, overcooked, and um, not, not very well done. And the fourth one was very well done also. Nice taste, nice tenderness, and uh, great flavor. Okay. Yeah, I'd agree number one and number four were very good. The, the standard we look for at KCBS, two, three, and five were, <clears throat> I think they might have mixed up the backyard and the professional divisions on that one. Yes, I agree. Number one and number four were really good and uh, the others two three and five were uh, uh, something was off with each of them so I agree with the other judges uh, one and four are pretty good the other three they're dry overcooked and uh, I think a better job could have been done I agree with them the, the, Number one and number four were uh, good. The other ones were uh, dry, and a lot of them didn't have a really good flavor. <clears throat> Ditto here. One and four were, de were very good, and the other three were just dry, and one of them smelled pretty bad. <laughs> Thank you all very much. Hi, my most favorite 
was number five. It was uh, spot on. I mean, this could have been a pro turn in for sure. My least favorite was number three. Uh, the appearance in the box was subpar. It was dry, had an uneven cut, and it just wasn't enjoyable to eat. I'm going to go exactly the same way. The favorite was number five by far. The, the flavor was spot on. The tenderness was perfect. The presentation was perfect. And number three, it just, it was dried out. Uh, I got a very uneven uh, bite, and uh, we can pass on that one. Uh, basically the same thing. Number five, you know, it was really, really good. It had the right amount of sweetness tenderness the bite was very good appearance in the box was excellent and obviously number three is really getting beat up here uh, they were kind of inconsistent some were dry some were wet and it was not very consistent as far as appearance and presentation went it was obviously overcooked yeah it's so pretty much the same <laughs> i felt number five was was uh definitely the best one I tasted. Um, flavor was perfect. The tenderness was, was wonderful. Um, and number three, I felt it was a, a little tough. Well, my comments are going to match everybody else's. Uh, this particular category was pretty simple. There weren't a, a lot that were very, very close to each other in, in several ways. Number three, I felt was grilled more than it was uh, smoked. And then number five had, the, I think, the best balance of everything, appearance, taste, and, uh, and tenderness. Again. It looks like we're a f fairly consistent table then because number five, again, was the favorite. Uh, number two wasn't too far behind. With both of these entries, it was apparent that the teams took a lot of time in their presentations because their presentations were outstanding. They put a lot of thought into those. Um, the tenderness for both number five and three were balanced um, and their tenderness was spot on. So uh, definitely the favourites and I think, again, number three is a little bit too dry, too tough on that one. Thank you very much. We were talking. You're up. I'm up. Okay. Uh, this, we had five entries of brisket and I don't know, don't know what to say, I'm speechless. <laughs> one of them was pretty good, the other's debatable. Which one of the five was good? Uh, number three, if it, it, and that's debatable too. <laughs> okay. Yeah, brisket here, Pig Fest in Lakeland, Florida, uh, pretty unremarkable. One was about like shoe leather number five. Number three might have been about the best, but that wasn't very good. <laughs> uh, I would say it was brisket. We'll just leave it at that. I, I think they're pretty harsh. Uh, some of it was okay. The third one was really good. Um, some of it was overcooked, and some of it was just way too tough, but I, I liked it. You don't need to get schooled here. Man. I don't like it. And then you can touch it. You don't have to use it. Oh, pass it on. <laughs> An interesting set of brisket. <laughs> uh, first one was pretty good. It was reasonably tender and had some flavor. Uh, I had a very difficult time pulling the second one apart. I took both hands, and even then, it was very difficult and no flavor. Third one was probably the second best of the five. <laughs> uh, tender and had some flavor. Uh, fourth was just a real disappointment. The fifth was just really bad. Uh, we've had pretty good samples today until we got to brisket. And these just were not very good. That is, but this is not. Now this is. Okay. Backyard barbecue. One, two, three, four, five. Which was your favorite and which was your least favorite? Uh, Favorite probably be the um, uh, this one here, 
and the least favorite, the last one over there, a little bit too dry. This guy's got to okay. learn how to get out the apple juice and spray them down. I, and it was flat leaf parsley. It is, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Which was your favorite? Which was your least favorite? Of this Wait, one? I need that. I need that. I need that. I get number back. one favorite. Number four least favorite. Okay. Everybody else ran. Everybody else stand up. Sorry. Thank you.